On today's video, we're talking Filmora 12 and scene detection. Stay tuned. <music> Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for coming by and checking out another video. Now, like I said, we are going to be talking about Filmora 12 and scene detection. Now, this is going to be a huge time saver for you. And like I've said in my other videos, the whole purpose of using the Filmora product is because I want to cut down my editing time. Boom. And this is going to help, especially let's say you've done a video a few months ago and you need to pull a scene from that. This detection tool is going to help you select that scene cut it, pull it out, and import it right into your next project. So let's take a look at how this is done and go jump on the computer. Okay, so now we've got Filmora 12 up and running here on the computer. Now, as always, if you don't have a copy, feel free to use the links down below. You can get it from Mac or PC. And as always, I'll show you a couple different ways to import, but I'm just gonna click on this folder. You can use this import tab right here and you can select from different forms of imports. We're just gonna select this and we're gonna scroll down and take this one here. So this is a video I did for uh, my server that I have at my house, my start nine. So let's just say there's parts of this that I want to take out and put into another video. And I don't want to spend the time scrubbing through the timeline because I could take it and drop it down here. And now I'm going to have to scrub through each part to find what section I want. That's going to take a lot of time. And the whole purpose of why I like Filmora 12, like I said before, is the fact that it helps me reduce my time in editing. So all I'm going to do is right click on this, go down to scene um scene detection there it is and let this let the software do its work and what it's going to do is it's going to go through the original video and pull up all the different cuts and it's going to put them into smaller segments and then once i have everything there if i wanted to i can delete some of these because you can see there's a little delete button right so i can go through and i can delete the ones i don't want but maybe i want to go through and check each one you can double click on it and it will give you a preview or you can just sit add to timeline. So I'm going to hit add to timeline. Now it's going to put all those clips into my timeline. Now let's just say I need this one here. So I'm going to go here and just delete those and delete those. And then there's one more there I got to get rid of. And then I can delete that one. Then I can make any edits to this clip that I want to, you know, over here, I can go to the video section. I can go to mask, I audio, color, anything that I want to do before I export it. And then all I'm going to do is export it and then use it in my next video. So this is going to save you a ton of time, especially let's say you are doing a vlog or some type of video. And then like you're referencing a vacation you took last year or three years ago when you have that video, instead of scrubbing through all that video, the software is going to do the work for you. And then you can just pull out what part of that video you want to use and then throw it into your new content that you're making. So this makes it super fast. All right. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to be done. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I will see you in the next video and leave some comments down below on what you would like to see for the next tutorial. Peace.